Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on uploading your professional learning project instead of your formal observation. The first thing you want to do is log into Falcon World. Once you are in Falcon World, you can go into Observation Studio. By this time, you should have received an email notifying you that you have been selected to do a professional learning project rather than have a formal observation. You'll notice that now you have under your current observation window, it'll be in the center of your observation studio portal. You'll see email notification and you'll see a green check. And that means that you have received the email from your supervisor. And you'll also notice that a new link has been lit up project proposal. And this is where you can start your project proposal. So you'll simply click on the project proposal link and it will open up the beginning of your site. Now, as you're at the project proposal, you'll notice that you have a menu on the left. So at any time you can save and come back in. You no longer have to complete the entire professional learning project at one time. When the item on the left-hand navigation is bold, it means that text has been saved in that particular area. Now, if you type in answers to the questions and then click on the left-handed navigation window, it will not save. You must click the next button. So what I mean by this is as you go through and you complete your questions, sometimes there might be three to a screen, other times there might be only one, you must click the Save and Next button. This will save everything that you have entered in and you no longer have to enter in all of the answers to every piece of the information that's on the left-hand side. When you click Save and Next, it saves that information to the database and you can always go back to it and edit it at any time. When you do click Save and Next, it brings you to the next question. It'll be domain, whatever the next one is. And when you do that, you'll notice now you have Save and Previous. So you have two options here. You can do Save and go to the previous question or Save and go to the next question but you must hit save and previous or save and next to actually save the content in the text box. By clicking on the left-handed navigation button, navigation menu, you do not save. You must click the save and previous or the save and next. When you do this, you'll notice that the menus will start to be bold on the left-hand side. Now again, you can click on those at any time and go back and edit any of those previous answers. When you get to the final piece where it says proposed timeline, this is the screen that you see in front of you. You'll be able to put up dates and strategies. And when you do that, they'll, they'll start to be listed down below. And when they're listed down below, you'll see a little message that says, please drag and drop the rows to place them in correct order. As you're brainstorming and putting in together the proposed timeline, you may enter one that's out of order. Just simply click, drag and drop wherever you'd like to and reorder as much as you'd like. Now, as you go through this process, you may want to change the wording or change a date at any time, you can click Edit, and then that will open up another screen that will allow you to make edits to either the timeline or the strategy. You also have the option to delete at any time. If you hit the Delete button, it will delete the item, and you won't be able to recover it. So be very careful with that Delete button. Once you have all of your items set up the way that you want it. Your proposed timeline is exactly the way that you want it to be read by your principal. Then you click the Submit button. The Submit Proposal button on the left-hand navigation, once you click that, it will automatically send it off to your principal. And it will take you out to your portal page. On your portal page, you'll notice that the project proposal is now a green check mark rather than the red. 
but also notice that the project proposal is still a link that's available to you. So you can go back in and make adjustments to the timeline or any answers to the questions of the different domains. Um, so there are lots of options there and it does not have to be unlocked by administrator. Once your project proposal has been approved by your administrator, you will get a green check mark next to project proposal uh, approved. And you'll also need to notice that the timeline log has now lit up as an available option. When you're ready to complete your project, click on the timeline log, and then that will open up this window. The timeline log has copied everything from your proposed timeline over to your timeline log. And what you can do in your timeline log is enter in your timeline dates, your strategies, along with the domain that the strategy touches on. If you're not familiar with the different domain components, you can always click on the blue link that's below domains where it says click here for a new tab of domain components. It will open up a new tab that has all of the domain components listed with a description and you can go back and forth. Now, as you do this, remember I said everything that you wrote in your proposal comes over to your timeline log. If things have changed over the year, at any time, you can go through and delete any of those original proposed ones that you changed your mind or it didn't work out or something else happened. Likewise, you will have to go into each one of these proposed timelines that came across to your timeline log and click on the edit button. Now, the reason that you have to do that, it brings up the screen just like the timeline log, but in the proposal, you didn't have to put in your domains. But for the final timeline log, you do have to put in your domains. So you will have to enter in your domain. You just select your domain and then click Submit. And when you do that, you'll notice that underneath, all of your domains will show up with just like 4A or 4B or whatever you're working on. Um, and these can also be dragged and dropped into whatever sequence. So you can edit these dates, change these dates, rearrange them just by clicking and dragging. So lots of different options there. Once you have completed your timeline log, now it's time to do self-assessment on your rubric. So on the left hand navigation, you will click on domain one rubric and it will bring up the rubric. It will be all in white. And as you click wherever you self assess, um, you'll notice that the cells will turn green. Whatever you click will turn green. If you accidentally click one and you'd like to change your mind, if you click it again, it will turn blank and then you can click somewhere else to turn it green. Once you're finished with domain one rubric, on the left hand side, you'll see the domain four option and you'll click on domain four. And once again, wherever you click, it will turn green. Once you have completed everything, you have that left hand navigation menu. At the very bottom, you'll notice that there is an option to submit project proposal. When you are truly ready to submit your project proposal, your timeline log is done, you've completed domain one rubric, you've completed domain four rubric, click the submit project proposal. This will send it over to the principal for his approval. You'll notice that a green check mark is now set up for the timeline log, and you'll be able to change this at any time because that link is still active. So if you have to go back and make any edits, you'll be able to do that. Once your principal selects and approves your final project, what will happen is that now under current observations, it will say no professional learning project or formal observation started. 
because it has been approved, completed, and closed, and it now will show up at the archived observations. So this completes the professional learning project process. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Technology Services. Thank you.